my mom's kitchen and I am reorganizing and refreshing her pantry and snack drawer slash cupboard. Now she has a pretty new kitchen and it is just awesome and amazing, but um, she needed a little assistance with some organizing and I asked if I could do that so she let me do that. And so I'm excited to share with you how I have reorganized her pantry and snack and cereal drawer slash cupboard for you. So let's get started. Here is what it looks like before. As you can see, just kind of all thrown in there and strewn about, but we're gonna see how we can rearrange it. Like anything that I organize, I always clean every drawer out first and then I wipe it down and just figure out how I want to arrange things in there. My mom wanted to keep everything in the same drawers, so I just thought of the best way to organize it and make it look presentable and grouped together in the same way. Now I'm putting everything back in and I just put everything back in the same drawers. I did toss quite a few like expired items and things that she actually gave me. So I just like how it looks with the open organization for her and what she likes. So it is all going back in in the same pull out drawer. Some of the items we got rid of were big boxes and they just took up a lot of space so it helped free up so that there is more space to put more things in they may need in the future and some expired things, you gotta toss those. Okay, here's the big reveal. Nothing grand, but all right, here it is. So the top drawer, I just kind of reorganized things dump some of the noodles into these canisters she already had. I did not go and buy anything for her. These she already had in the cupboard just sitting empty. Then I put her beans in here and just left these in the boxes because that's what she likes. She likes open organization, which is totally fine. Everyone has their own way to organize. Her peanut butter, um, her honey, I combined a couple in here that were the same because they get very uh, crystallized anyways and just some other of the like breakfast, boxed rice, things like that. Then down below, she has her like nuts and seeds, chia, oats, things like that for like add-ins to breakfast, her protein. And then here are the cereal boxes, which she does like to have a lot of, which is perfect because there's a lot of grandkids and us kids that do come back, she likes to give us some options. All right, getting on a little lower. She said she just bought some chips for us coming to visit. So she normally doesn't have this many, but that's all right. It looks pretty good here. You can see everything that's there. And don't you love these pull-out drawers? And they're soft clothes. Like, how sweet is that? And then I found this in her basement and just stuck um, my dad's granola bars and some of his candies he has. And then um, got rid of some of the other expired things. And these are my dad's treats that he likes to take with him out in the fields when he's working and then down here just her like potatoes onions things like that this is where she stores the coffee pot but i'm a coffee drinker so i had to get that out and then her juices and vinegar and then distilled water so just pretty simple on the bottom and i just think it looks very good she can see everything that she wants and it's just a different style than i like not as many bins but you can still see everything that's in there and it doesn't really look cluttered, so that's what I like too. 
Well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this style of organizing and cleaning out a kitchen pantry. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I do a lot of cleaning and organizing, thrift hauls, DIYs, and I would really appreciate a new subscriber and joining my YouTube community. So definitely give it a like and hit that big red subscribe button and comment below too if you want to see more like spring cleaning, decluttering, and organizing because I do enjoy doing them and you accomplish your task as well. So let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Talk with you in the next one. Bye.